to the video guys thank you guys for joining me today your boy tony um this today's kind of part two of what we did last time with the bug so today since last time we did kind of the engine work and like we wiring and all that good stuff like the fluids and all that today we're going to be working on the actual interior of the car because that's where we need help the most and today i actually want to start painting the dash because if not it's going to take me even longer to do that so we're just going to go ahead and lock the steering wheel and uh we got to start with all the small stuff so like let's start taking off all this all these buttons, you know, all of these come off. We're just gonna put that right there. All these other buttons come off. We just gotta just take off literally everything. Um, from this front side, from literally this side, I believe there's not that much. There's two bolts right here, right here. There's the knobs, all your knobs, take those off. You're gonna have to take off this door, which is these bolts right here. Uh, we're gonna have to take off the compartment, but that goes from the inside. Um, there should be seven bolts along the bottom as well, and that should be it for the front side actually Currently taking out the glove box little door I'm gonna need to so that's off take off the steering wheel. This is what you can do I'm gonna take off the steering wheel and drop this part because I don't want to get paint on it But let's say you're just taking off the dash Maybe just take off the steering wheel or maybe just drop it. I'm just giving you guys options There's two bolts on the steering column. I might just drop it and take this off so just have more room to be able to do stuff in here as well because i'm going to do that inside of this carpet as well so there's tabs right here from the back of the screens that you kind of just straighten out and it you should just be able to push that thing out so let's go ahead and pull them from the inside this one out this one as well just get this thing out might need some love you know as many things do i learned a whole lot i took this one off to get room three in there this is kind of for the water to filter it out took out the glove box and i learned that there's like these top screws right here if you guys can see that let me see can you guys see that yeah there's these top screws right here right here there's another one right here kind of hidden in there i don't think i need to take off the windshield wipers that wouldn't make sense but if i do i might since i don't have any but other than that, there should just be one right there. So I'm gonna try to take those off. Hopefully this stupid thing comes out. Let's try to pull this sucker out now. Oh, that's a lot better now. Definitely gonna need a vacuum after this, but it's all good. I can just get most of this thing out. I just ended up praying it out, bro. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm, I'm drenched, man. I'm, we're putting in work, man. We're putting in work. I just want to be able to just take the whole thing. Ah, oh, I forgot. This thing comes off. These are the two bolts that we also unscrewed. That comes off. And then we could just start pulling this sucker out of here. Mando. Mando. Let me just get it right there. Yes. 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 And as you guys can see, I got a lot of work cut out for me today. A lot of work, man. It's got another one right there. All right, I'm going to try to update you guys and make this as simple as possible. The speedometer gets taken out with two bolts. They're like this on the other side. And then there's little tabs on the ring out here that are from the inside that you bend with your finger. Or you can do it from right here and just bend them. And then the ring pulls out. And that should be it. All these vents I broke, so I don't really know how to take them out. Mine are all old and crusty. Um, other than that, I'm not sure what else. I don't want to disconnect this one because I don't want to remember where the wires go. So I'm just leave it hanging in there and cover it with some tape. Other than that, I need to drop this for sure because I need to get down there to paint. Other than that, I think we're almost. I think we're done with the disassembly. Uh, obviously, I need to clean everything and make sure everything's cool. Put some cardboard literally everywhere so I don't get all my wires painted and all that good stuff i mean i am just drenched to be honest man i got a lot of work to do but i pretty much just taped up all the knobs uh, i got a bunch of 
you newspaper in the back so I don't paint any of the important stuff. I'm gonna go a little bit higher than the window and I'll cover some of this stuff and maybe some of this other stuff, but just to be safe, you know? Rather be safe than sorry, so. I've been using this on the exterior. This is the first time I'm gonna use it on the interior. Literally everything is taped up. I'm drenched in here. I'm gonna try to get like this first coat going and then just like book it outside, man, cause I just can't be in here that long. So I'm gonna try to do this one handed. If it goes terribly bad, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna try to do this for y'all. Alright, we cool. We cool. First coat right there, ladies and gentlemen. Light coat, I'm gonna go heavy on the second one, but I just can't be in here no more. You know, all the flake is literally coming out the car. I'm gonna let that bake for a bit. I'm gonna get you guys a peep. This is the second coat done. Pretty much all the yellow's covered. Looks good, looks good, looks real good. Went all the way in deep into these corners. I got the clear coat getting ready in the sun i let it warm up by the sun because when it's harder it sticks better in the meantime i gave these a scrub with some sandpaper as well as this one i'm gonna paint these the universal chrome it came out cool in dungeon base so i'm gonna paint them the same color because in 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 the car these pretty much in the car they pretty much go like this so i thought it looked cool if all three of them were chrome so we're gonna give that a shot right now small little update i ended up splashing some clear coat so i'm gonna let it bake for now get all the heat in there make it cook nice and well it you can't really tell the difference but it's a lot glossier now i can't really show you guys because i'm just making my hand through here but i'm gonna let it bake for a bit and then open it up like in an hour 30 minutes i forgot that i obviously had to paint the actual door to the glove box because obviously it's not gonna be black the dash is not gonna be black no more so i forgot to do that so i prepped it painted it right now it's first coat i'm gonna throw up another one on there it looks already good chrome paint is drying up pretty well been about 30 minutes had lunch everything looks popping i just dropped some clear coat on this this is potentially what the inside of the car is gonna look like saucing chrome parts be looking sauce as well let's go check up on the car right now it probably smells nasty in there but let's take a look man sheesh Look at that, guys. That thing looks clean. That thing honestly looks super good. Super good. I don't know if it's dried yet. Yeah, it's pretty dry. Pretty dry, my friends. So I'm going to start taking a little bit of the tape. Probably take off the ones on the back first and then do these last in here. Let it dry up a little bit more. It's hot as hell, so this is drying. This is obviously going to dry pretty quick. I feel bad whoever butchered the hell out of this metal, man. I feel really bad. Look at that. That thing is messed up. I think I did pretty well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think it looks saucy. Awesome. So here's kind of the finished product. It looks amazing, by the way. I do want to get, like, the nice knobs and stuff. Like, the metal ones, I'll bill it. But, like, obviously, today's not going to be that day. This is kind of just an in-the-moment kind of thing. So we're just going to keep these for now. They look fine. I'll get the other ones eventually. Don't worry, guys. I got y'all. All right, check this out. You see how it's black right there? I ended up making these little covers because normally there's a speaker right here that I don't have. And behind here, there's a clock. Normally, you can get a clock right here. I think it's a clock. You can get it right there. Um, I don't have any of that, unfortunately. And I've always had the issue of just blasting air going through here into my face, even when it's like 12 and like at midnight, and I don't want that. These vents, I'm going to have to live with for now until I get the actual vents some nice ones because the other ones are old and crusty but for the meantime i ended up making this so this is gonna go like that and block all that out bro and you know what the best thing is you're not even be able to tell that is back there looks oem i made these out of a planter and so you really don't got to spend money to do this stuff got everything situated back here basically the tabs come out through like right here for the metal brackets right here and all you got to do is just twist them ties and you should be good to go 
Um, I got the stereo all fixed in, all the wires in. I got even this all bolted up right now. So the only thing we're actually missing is the glove box. But we need to do the actual glove box door first before we can actually move on to the actual glove box. So we're gonna need these. Right, so we got the finished product right here. I'm gonna take you guys get it. I'm gonna let you guys get a good, nice, good look at it. The reason the door sticks out a little bit is because it's messed up. So I have a spring to keep it to go up and down. So that's kind of my, that was my cheat thing. You feel me? But anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna try to help you out. Um, before putting the glove box back on, put this top part on. It will make your life a lot easier. Trust me, I I struggled a lot. When doing this, there are little hinges right here on each side. You can't see them right now, but obviously the hinges that hold on to the actual door, they go inside, if you guys can see that right there, there's like a little bracket for them. At the very bottom of the bracket, there's like a little tube where you put the thing, the stick in sideways. They go in, they only go in one way, so just make sure they're in it before, otherwise it's not gonna close properly. Other than that, I just shoved the glove box in there and bolted it down and we're good to go. That's all good. Everything here is all good. Uh, next thing I wanna try and tackle would be the carpet situation. This is, that's gonna be the next thing right here. Under here, take care of this situation right here. I got some double-sided tape, but gotta make sure we clean up first. By the way, I just wanna give some huge shout out to myself for getting down on this, man. I honestly, I think I did talk about this in like, wow, like maybe one of the first videos where I talked about what I wanted to do with the bug. And I said I wanted to do this, just never actually did it. Cause it, it I am not gonna lie, it was a time consuming project. I think I started in the morning and Gosh, it's almost 3.30 right now and I barely got it done. Obviously, there's drying time and all that, but there was a learning curve to it, most definitely. Now that we got it cleaned up, I have this wide piece of fabric that I believe I'm gonna use to cover the top part of this. So run it on top of the actual bar. And uh, I think I'm gonna start with that and then patch it up the smaller parts, like this one, that one, and that corner. Patch those up separately, but this should take care of the majority of the top part. So basically something like this. I'm gonna try to make it at least a little bit nicer, like nicer shaped. And then uh, then we start just making it permanent, to be honest. So yesterday I couldn't actually find any kind of like glue for the actual carpet. So I, and I went to like three different stores. I went to Target, I went to Ace, I went to um, AutoZone, they didn't have it. So I ended up going up to O'Reilly's to pick up the parts for the 350Z that you guys will see in another video. And I got some of this Permatex upholstery glue. This is what I would highly recommend. A lot of the other glues are like multi-purpose and those don't really tend to hold up. So I'm gonna buzz down today and get this wrapped up and finished and done. I just wanna get this interior done already and just get cruising already. So I've actually used this before when I try to do the headline on the Z. It didn't go so well. I think it's honestly just because I suck, but um, read the instructions. So basically you gotta spray it two to three coats um you want to wait five minutes so i can get tacky and you want to spray both sides so you want to spray the metal part up here spray the middle part and then we're going to spray the actual carpet I'm not a professional and you guys obviously know that so i just been doing it by sections so this flat part i'm gonna do it and then this curvature part i'm gonna do and then just finish it off all the way over here so when i bought the car it came with literally only this piece for carpeting and i cut off a little tip of it so that this one i can fill in so that this small one i can basically fill in this corner right here that got chopped off a little bit weird fill that in like that and then follow that up with this one and then we would almost be done and now we just need a patch for that one but that's gonna be my plan on this side one there's been some progress made let me go ahead and show you guys we got literally the whole top of the thing put under and i noticed that a lot of people don't actually put carpet under here and they actually just paint it the same color as the top but mine was kind of messed up already so i didn't want to paint it i even made a cool little cutout for the actual thing for the gas cap so i made that cut out everything's on there good uh you guys already see my template i made a template for the back part of it and it honestly fills up awesome over there so i might only have to get like a bottom piece for that maybe not even at all because the carpet will grow will get over it and then i'll just have to do this side but uh, overall it looks pretty good i'm happy with it so i'm gonna start spraying this stuff down corner by corner 
inch by inch and then we'll slowly slowly and surely get done with it and then after this big project the last project would have to be just doing the just doing the headliner but on headliner on these cars isn't easy but that's probably gonna come in another video just for that one we'll get that done guys Everything I said prior about it being alright was some straight bullshit. I just saw this thing put back together and let me tell you how good it looks, man. You guys ready for this? Leave a fat thumbs up in the video if you guys are excited. But look at this, man. Sheesh! Look how pristine and clean that looks, man. You can't even tell that I messed up on the carpet or did I? But anyways, look how clean this looks, man. I'm in love, man. I'm in love. Can't wait to go for a cruise, man. Look at this. So clean, so fresh. Sheesh. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Somebody let me know what you guys think in the comments. Some Someone drop something down below. Say what's up. Let me know what's good. Let me know what you guys think right here. Honestly, guys, this is not that hard. All I spent material on was literally two cans of paint. Um, this thing. And pretty much a carpet. This was actually six bucks when my dad bought it from Big Lots. But uh, you can. this is like speaker speaker box covers carpet this is what i would use you can find this stuff super cheap guys you you don't have to spend a fortune to look good and i could have easily spent the fortune and made it look completely times better taking it somewhere else to do it themselves but let's be honest man this looks killer and it makes me proud knowing that i did all this shit by myself finishing touches guys the new whip got us some more clean she's look at her out here guys she's looking good back on the streets let's take her for on the block guys what do you guys say suckers down you know man it feels good to cruise it in this thing again sounds good man sounds healthy sounds great super happy with the results Something I want to touch bases on, guys, is whenever something happens in your guys' life, it's important to always look on the bright side of things. And I know it can be hard to do that at times. And trust me, it was hard for me, especially when the 350Z got in an accident. That was kind of tough for me. Not not really emotionally, but like just the fact that I couldn't make content, I couldn't drive the car, because that's what I love doing, right? I love doing this for you guys. And I turned it into something positive. So the days I was waiting for those parts, I decided to work on the bug, make a difference in the bug. And that makes me happy, man. It's not. It's not like... Like making these videos is fun for me. Editing them is fun for me. Also taking my time and like working on the cars is fun for me. Like the process of like doing these things is what makes it fun for me, man. Like I love doing this stuff myself. Obviously this channel could be way different in the sense of like me just taking my car to the shop and picking it up. But none of you guys would be here, right? That's what that's what's important, man. Like it's important not in like it's important to always be be looking for good things. Be looking for constant wins. You know, yesterday was tough for me because I went to like five different stores couldn't find the upholstery glue, couldn't find the stuff I needed for today. And I didn't let that get to me. I just got a fresh start in the morning, made a better day, started chasing those wins, and those wins started to show up in my life. So make sure you guys are chasing those wins. Make sure you guys take care of yourself. I hope you guys have a blessed, beautiful day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.